Rated M for Mature. Hello everyone and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 4, where we're going to be tackling the most difficult quest in the game. This is the final DLC quest. It's also the most expensive for whatever reason. I don't exactly know why. I guess just to make it that much more epic. But yeah, for the past, for the future, is the final quest that should be taken in Shin Megami Tensei 4. If you're not prepared for this battle, do so now. Now, what you need for this battle, I'm going to show you my team off very quickly just before we rush into it. I'm a magic based protagonist who has basically support moves at the moment. He's honestly can't do anything to the boss since he cannot inherit any piercing skills. Now, the boss that we're going to run into literally resists everything in the game. He resists physical, all elemental magic, obviously Mudo and Hama. Also Almighty, only boss in the game that resists Almighty, so my protagonist not really going to be doing the best. We have Uriel, who is our newest party member, who is a 100% physical tanker. He's not maxed out in the levels just because it is not 100% necessary. You can get by with him just being level 77. He has Dark Energy, Pierce Physical, Life Surge so we can survive, Charge, Bloody Glee, both Physical Flareomas, and Kanuki Throw. Very essential in our battle. With the secret boss. Now, <laughs> this is what I had to do to fuse this guy. So if you want a similar move set, be prepared to do a little bit of research. Anyways, our next party member is Demi Urge, the non-DLC secret boss. He also has pretty much support moves. He's going to be using Salvation, Anti-Tikton, and Luster Candy in this battle. It's made of pretty easy to get demons if you ask me. And finally, the king of all demons, Mora, is actually going to be... Pretty much just our tank. He has really good life and defense. So he's just going to be here to soak up damage and use doping to make sure that everyone else in the team has more HP. And yep, that's pretty much all you need to do it. I don't recommend you bring Ancient of Days in this battle, however. Now, if you are struggling, I do recommend you probably buy some DLC. Let me point something out to you, okay? The Demon Ashima that... Well, Mastema gave us at the end of Clipped Wings 2 is very good. He gets every type of pierce in the game. Actually, he doesn't get physical pierce. He just gets the four elemental magic pierce, which you can use to actually fuse a demon that will help you in this battle. I don't recommend using mages, though, because they're very unreliable, since the boss we're going to encounter does a lot of damage and mages tend to die. But I digress, we are finally ready to take on the final challenge quest to protect Tokyo. Yeah. Now, when they wanted to end Shin Megami Tensei, they knew exactly how to do it. This is, in my opinion, my favorite quest, heck, in any game, like any RPG. It's just great, it ends the game off perfectly. And hey, we're in the area. Hello, thank you for coming. Uh, no problem, it's Steven. I knew it was up to no good. This is the Expanse, a place that transcends past, present, and future. Oh yeah, we've been here before. I will now guide you to a certain past. Uh-huh, it is a day that holds a very significant moment in our history. A day that you, of the present, must one day see. Now, let us go. To the day that the sky closed over Tokyo. Yes, we're actually going to see what happened on that day, and how Tokyo got the ceiling over it, basically. Huh. And we're at the Ginza. Judging by that building, we're here. What's that blue thing in the sky? Huh, very curious. We are in the Tokyo you know before your own time. So we've time traveled again, correct? There isn't much time left to explain, so I shall be brief. Look up in the sky. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's a star. Do you see that light? Yes. That is an intercontinental ballistic missile. Yeah, I don't think that's a star, actually. It all started with a Yamato Perpetual Reactor. Once it made connection to the Expanse, demons began to flow into this world. Oh. 
So began the war for control over the angels and the demons, eventually leading to a world war among humanity. And now a certain country has just launched some of the worst weapons known to man. Unfortunately, one of them heads directly towards Tokyo. Soon, it will destroy this city. Whoa. So that's how it all went down. But turn around. Uh, okay. Oh, it's Masakado. A giant demon fills your sight. Uh-huh. That's pretty obvious to see. Enormous god is the guardian of Tokyo, Masakado. He is trying to cover the entire city of Tokyo with his body in order to protect it from the missile. However, he has lost control of himself, just as the people of Tokyo have lost themselves. If the missile reaches Tokyo, any future that the city may have will dissolve into mere possibility. Oh man, pretty deep stuff. I believe you can bring Masakoto back to himself. If you were to challenge him, I am sure he will respond. Are you willing to fight Masakoto? Well, uh, if we don't, everyone in Tokyo is gonna die. So we have no other option but to defeat the defender of Tokyo. <laughs> I see. Then, you must hurry. There is no time. Hey, listen up. Mm-hmm. Now Burroughs is gonna tell us basically when the missile's gonna hit. You just gotta concentrate on the fight. Okay, Master? <laughs> Don't worry, Burroughs. That's all that's on my mind right now. Hello, Burroughs. I see you've been improved while I was away. Hello? Huh, it has been quite some time, Doctor. What's going on between you two? I didn't authorize this. <laughs> I wish I had time to chat with you more, but we do not have that luxury. Goodbye, Doctor. We'll talk later. I guess we will if you go on that neutral ending. Master Johnny, hurry. The estimated time of missile impact is fast approaching. Oh man, we run towards Masakado for the final battle. And this, guys, is the most difficult challenge in the game. Activating scan mode. Versus the National Defense Divinity, Masakado. A lot to take in. Yeah, the scan is complete. T minus 10 turns until the missile hits. Master, Master Johnny, protect Tokyo. And okay, this is not an easy battle. Let me e alliterate. He resists everything in the game. 100%. I'm going to use an anti ticton I have more magic than any demon in the game could ever have. And I only do 75 damage to him. Yeah. So, basically, we're going to have to use Uriel. He's our secret weapon, our ace in the hole, for defeating Masakado. Now, we're going to... Hmm. The unfortunate thing here is, both me and Uriel share a weakness to Garu. Or Zan, I guess I should call it Zan. Which, Masakado actually has access to, and he's aiming carefully. He's praying, which isn't probably good for us. And here comes Mazadine! Uh, okay. Because we gave... Oh gosh, that is not good. Because we gave Archangel's Law to Uriel, he dodged that attack and basically saved our butts. So, we just need to do that every turn, and I think we'll be okay. Now we're going to skip our turn. We're going to use Doping. Alright. Now Demiurge is going to heal us up with Salvation. It's very pivotal. You don't want to take any risks, because Masakado can obliterate you in a single turn. We're going to use Dark Energy to charge up. And then use Archangel's Law and Uriel once again, so we can survive. Alright. At the bare minimum, you just need Pierce and... Archangel's Law. If you do not have those two things, I don't understand how you're supposed to win this battle. <sighs> okay. Let's prank again. As long as he doesn't use Silent Prayer, we should be okay. Because the Mazadine did major damage to our protagonist. And here's another one. Super. But Uriel dodged both of them. That is exactly what we want to see. Salvation coming from Demiurge again. Demiurge has tons of mana. He can pump out heals every turn they ask to. Mara is just going to skip his turn. Now Uriel is going to charge. Another Archangel's Law will prevent him from dying. If Uriel gets off his combo, the chances of us winning this battle, well, is increased dramatically. And man, Masakato sure has a lot of turns. Uh, you want to burn this guy basically down as quickly as you can, because you only have 10 turns to do it, and he does a lot of damage. He also pierces any resistances you have. Oh my gosh, he didn't get a crit. This is turning out to be extremely lucky so far. The luck's gonna come down to this. 
and Yuri will finish off Masakado with one attack. Everyone at home, cross your fingers. Because if this kills Masakado, we will have beaten Shimogami Tensei 4. Come on. Oh, no, that was only five hits. Probably, may maybe even less. This is not looking good. Oh, man. We put, like, almost all of our turns into that. This is not looking good, man. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we're Okay, we just gotta skip and just hope they can get his turn back. Alright. If he does not use Silent Prayer, we'll be okay. He's moving slowly. He's aiming carefully. <laughs> Dude, just hurry up with your turn, man. Okay. And he's const. Oh, no. When he concentrates, that's really bad. Oh, man. We lost our designated healer. This could not get any worse. So we're only up to three turns a turn. That's not good at all. Use dark energy here. This is super bad. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Use Archangel's Law one more time on Uriel. Okay. If we can survive next turn, though, I think we could do it. Just maybe. Oh, my gosh. Come on, just let me live, dude. Come on. We're so close to the end. First, that enemy's gonna make sure he gets another turn. Oh gosh, no. Don't kill my protagonist. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, guys. Alright. We only got five turns to go. You're halfway there. Oh my gosh. I don't think we're gonna make it five turns, but we gotta pray. Alright. We're gonna use. Mm, we're gonna use a beat of life just to heal everybody up. We're gonna skip Mara's turn. We're gonna charge one more time. Use Archangel's Law on Uriel just to bite ourselves a little bit more time. Oh man, this next this next move's got to finish him off or we lose. This setup takes far too long, but it's unfortunately the only way we can take down Masakato in our current team's state. Come on. Oh, he's clenching his fist. That's not good. It's going to be a big attack. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It missed. That was just too good to be true. Use Mara to heal up just to be safe. Come on, Uriel. We're all counting on you. You gotta do it! <clears throat> Only three. Darn, man. We're not we're not getting lucky at all. This is terrible. This is beyond terrible, actually. Now he's used Guardian's Eye, which, well, gives him a maximum of nine turns. Oh, man. I don't think we're gonna survive this, guys. Maybe. Maybe if the, the heavens are open. I don't know. Oh my gosh, he missed. Come on, just let us live. Let us live. Okay. How many turns do we have left? Three turns left. Oh my gosh, we gotta hurry. Alright. Yeah, use salvation. Okay. Now Mara, just don't know. Do not auto-attack. You'll absorb it. Oh my gosh. I think we can... I think we can win. I just hope we can win. Archangel's Law again. Let's see. Okay, that was our... We have one more... Okay. I think we'll have enough turns. Oh my gosh, just please don't use... Oh man. We, we can we can live. I think we can do it. It all comes down how many attacks Uriel can do. So it's pretty much a random number generator from here on out. Hey, Only two more turns. <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> we don't have much time, but yeah, you're right. We have a little bit of time left. Use Medihoron. Okay. <laughs> we got three demons, man. Got to charge again. This next turn is gonna do it. It's gonna have to. If we kill him, that would be a miracle. All right, come on. All we gotta do is survive one more turn. That's all. That's all. One more turn, and Masakata will be defeated. Just one more. Come on. We're all counting on you, Yuri. You know, I've said it every time now, but this is the final turn. It's now or never. You gotta kill me, Uriel. You gotta do it. Come on, man. I gave you the best skills in the game. You can do more damage than anyone else. This next Kanuki throw is gonna decide it. If we defeat Masakado, or Tokyo is doomed. And I think we just saved the future. I was witness to a nightmare. In this dream, I lost control of the good and evil within me, and I was at their mercy. So, you have awakened me. Masakata regained his true self. The hopes inside of you were engraved within me, 
acting as my ego. With this ego, I shall protect Tokyo, along with your hopes. And we did it, guys. We defeated the hardest boss in Shin Megami Tensei 4. <sighs> Feels good. <laughs> that really came down to the wire there, didn't it? Masakado has changed himself into a barrier enveloping all of Tokyo. Uh, yep, that's the barrier that we've seen for the whole game now, actually. Hmm. So Tokyo is the <laughs> only civilization left in the world. And so Tokyo will follow the path of history that you are familiar with. A history where the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado is founded on Masakado's back, and where you were one day born. We hear the voice of Masakado echoing around us. Tokyo has been protected. However, good and evil still remain. The souls of humanity will be tortured by the hardships to come, due to the never-ending battle of law and chaos. However, you have left them with the greatest gift of all, hope. As long as there is hope, the goddess will never die. I shall grant you my shadow, Samurai. Use it as your shield in battle. Oh? And Masakado grants us the greatest gift a Shimagami Tensei player could ever ask for. <laughs> the National Defense Divinity has literally given himself in his complete form to us. And to put it frank, the Masakado's shadow is the most broken demon that has ever existed in the entire series. And yes, the final quest for the fast the future has been completed. And man, we almost didn't win in that. Demiurge got blown away and I was Hello pretty there. scared. So did you have enough time to talk? Well, yeah. Now then, let me get you back to where you belong. Thank you. Both of you. And man, well, <laughs> thanks to Steven's help, we return to our own time. Now, Masakado's shadow is, quite frankly, the most powerful demon ever created. He can basically give you infinite turns. Yes, I'm not kidding. He has a move that literally just gives you turns never-endingly. He's a very special fusion, however, I don't think we'll be using him in this Let's Play because, well, what else is there to defeat? We defeated... Strongest demon of the game, definitely the tallest, and where on earth are you? There he is. He needs the original Masakado, so you have to have Billy speed and neutral one time to actually use him. He needs this guy, which I'm not sure of. He needs Amaterasu, and Hachiman, the deity of the samurai. And that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 4. Guys, it has been an insane journey going through Tokyo and fighting off all the demons, but eventually everything must come to an end. So I personally want to thank you for all the support you've given me on my favorite Let's Play thus far. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure, which will hopefully be even more grand than this one. So I'll see you then. And as always, take care. <laughs>